88 lines, about 44 presidents. Father of our country, Georgie Washington, was number one. John Adams lost a second term, but never fear, he had a son. Tom Jefferson, he wrote the Independence Declaration draft. James Madison was not that tall, but demonstrated battlecraft. Oh yeah, look out for little Jimmy. James Monroe, just like four others, died on the 4th of July. John Quincy Adams, he was picked by House of Raps after a tie. Bloody Andrew Jackson had the trail of tears to earn his scorn. Martin Van Puren was the first who was American-born. Yeah, turns out Marty was American-made. William Henry Harrison died in one month due to a cough as VP Johnny Tyler served remaining time within the office. James K. Pope became the first to hear the song Hail to the Chief, and in his second year, Zach Taylor died, and so his time was brief. Yeah, I think this is becoming a trend, guys. Millard Fillmore never had a VP help keep the union. Strong. Franklin Pierce, a northerner whose southern sympathies were wrong. James Buchanan was the only bachelor when it wasn't weird. And Abe Lincoln was the best with stovepipe hat and a stashless beard. Ah, uh, yeah. Honest Abe was a style leader. Andrew Jackson was impeached because with Congress and he fought. U.S. Grant, the Union general who was also drunk a lot. Rutherford B. Hayes became the first to lose the popular vote. James Garfield was shot and once infected, that is all she wrote. Oh, come on guys, hang in there. Chester Arthur won of three presidents in 81. Grover Cleveland won election, then he lost, and then he won. Benjamin the Harrison, a grandson is how he's related. William McKinley, he's the third to be assassinated. I uh, think they've learned to duck by now. Teddy Bully Roosevelt got Panama and Nobel Prize. William Howard Taft was mostly known for his enormous size. Woodrow Wilson tried to keep us out of the Great World War. Warren Harding rocked the scandal, Teapot Dome, and many more. Yeah, you thought that was a current thing. Silent Calvin Coolidge was so tight-lipped, not a smiley flash. Herbert Hoover never held an office, then the market crashed. FDR, while beating Hitler, got us through the Great Depression. Harry Truman dropped atomic bombs, that is his confession. Yeah, and he's the only one to do it, too. Twice. Uh-oh. Here we go. Eisenhower in the 50s was a general we called Ike. JFK was gone right after we found one that we could like. The legacy of LBJ is Vietnam and civil rights. When Nixon saw impeachment looming, he resigned without a fight. Gerald Ford remains the only one that we did not elect. And Jimmy Carter's after office work should bring him great respect. Ronald Reagan was an actor, played his part with no remorse. CIA man George Bush Sr. pointed light and stayed the course. Willie Clinton balanced budgets, but he was a male whore. W had 9-11. To excuse our name wars And Barack Obama was the first one of a darker tint And Donald Trump, he conned the country into making him a mint <laughs> That's about the size of it 88 lines, about 44 presidents